In the intricate fabric of life, there are threads that weave tales of mystery and intrigue. One such tale begins with a stranger, a man whose presence was as enigmatic as his past, a man who would alter the course of another's life in a single fateful meeting. Our protagonist was a man who had spent many years in solitude, lost in the labyrinth of his own thoughts. His life was as monotonous as the ticking of a clock, each day echoing the last. Until one day, a knock on the door disrupted the rhythm of his life. In walked a man, clad in a threadbare suit and a pair of valuable Ray-Ban glasses, radiating a familiarity that was both unsettling and intriguing. The stranger looked around, his gaze lingering on the tarnished walls and the cobweb-laden ceiling. The air was thick with anticipation as the stranger sat down, his every move calculated and deliberate. In an attempt to unravel the mystery, our protagonist probed the stranger with questions. The stranger's cryptic responses hinted at a deep understanding of our protagonist, a familiarity that was unsettling, for our protagonist had no memory of him. The stranger, with a hint of amusement in his eyes, remarked, You're a forgetful man. I'm surprised you don't remember me, but I could never forget you, even if I tried. This revelation left our protagonist in a whirlwind of confusion. Could he be a long-lost pupil, or perhaps a distant relative, before he could process this, the door creaked open again. This time, several men entered, their attention focused on the walls and ceilings. Hours passed as they worked diligently, their actions transforming the dilapidated room into something unrecognizable. When our protagonist finally took in his surroundings, he found himself standing in a house that was a mirror image of his past. The floral wallpaper that his wife had loved, the wrought iron bed frame, the cushions that were a part of her dowry. This was the house he had forgotten, the house he had once called home. In this moment, he felt a hand on his shoulder, the stranger's hand. As he looked at his wife, radiant and beautiful, he realized that the stranger was no ordinary man. He was a guardian angel, a time traveler who had turned back the clock, gifting him a chance to relive his past. Our protagonist finally recognized the stranger, he was the boy he had once taught, the boy he had forgotten. Overwhelmed with gratitude, he clasped the stranger's hand, ready to embark on an infinite journey back in time. And so the story concludes with a beautiful resolution, a tale of a stranger who wasn't a stranger after all, a tale of a man who found his past in the present, a man who was given a chance to relive his life, all thanks to a single fateful meeting. Full.